The Blend tool has the ability to assign a version to use for filling and blending calculations. Blending uses the ACES modeling kernel, which is constantly evolving their algorithms. In some specific cases, older algorithms may provide better results. In order for the designer to have more control, there's now an option to use the current or version 10 blending algorithms. In this example, we have a complex fillet that requires version 10. Let's show the steps how to change the blend version. First, select the constant radius blend tool. Then in the prompt area, select the options button and from the pull down menu, select version 10. Now go ahead and set your blend radius. We'll set ours to one and select the edge that you want to blend. And then if you want to explore different radius values, just go to the data entry window while it's still selected and enter your values. In general, use the default current version. If for any reason that fails to provide the desirable results, try the version 10. Hi everyone, welcome to our video on Mastering the Layer Set tool. This powerful new feature is designed to streamline your workflow by allowing you to save and restore groups of layers complete with specific view orientations and zoom factors. Layer sets are very versatile, serving multiple purposes to enhance your design workflows. Whether you're swiftly navigating through different work setups or showcasing saved views for a presentation, Layer sets are your go-to solution. In today's video, we'll dive into the practical application of layer sets within our race car project. You'll learn how to create a range of views, save them for future reference, and seamlessly switch to between them with ease. Let's begin by creating a layer set of our race car, bounty box, and dimensions. I'm simply going to turn off my cameras 
so that I get just my race car and let's zoom up and that looks good I'm gonna go to layer sets layer sets are in the concept Explorer located under tools concept Explorer and it's on the lower right lower left hand side of the screen we're gonna click create layer set and we're gonna give it a name we'll say uh, dimensions bounding box and we'll click OK and that creates it now let's go ahead and create uh, another one and this will be without our bounding box and layer dimensions so I'm going to turn off our dimension and I'm going to turn off the bounding box and let's change it, the orientation a little bit and zoom up and we'll create another layer set and this time we'll call it um, Uh, race car ISO only okay now uh, I also have a in my drawing I have uh, a variety of rendered images that I want to quickly show and what I will do there is I'm going to start with just the uh, front view and I'm going to isolate that layer and I'm going to zoom up and I'll go to my layer set and I'll say create layer set and we'll do a uh, race car front view rendered and let's do our side view same thing with our side view let's zoom up and create another layer set and this will be race car side view rendered okay uh, we've created our layer sets. We can review our layer sets by clicking into our menu and we can see I created uh, five of them and now let's, uh, let's, let's switch between them. Let's go to our dimension with the ISO bounding box and now let's go to the race car ISO only and let's do the rendered front view and rendered side view. And for our next example, I have a 2D drawing and I want to show you that layer sets are equally as valuable if you're just using 2D drawings. Uh, this is a large AutoCAD drawing with a collection of, of draw views as well as model set data. Uh, I've already created some layer sets and I'm just going to recall these for you. Uh, the first one we're going to do is the model view, which we're seeing right now. And then let's go ahead and recall a rear view data. And lastly, an upper frame assembly. So you can see it's, uh, it quickly jumps between models and sheet views. The shear tool can be used to apply a shear transformation to curves, surfaces, and solids. This allows for the distortion of objects along a specified axis, which can be useful in various modeling and design scenarios. This goes over the Shear tool. The Shear tool is accessed from the Advanced Transformation tool palette, and it's the last tool icon. Once you select it, select the plane that you wish to do the operation in. I'm in the top view, and I'm going to choose the XY plane. Next, choose the Shear angle. The default is 30 degrees. Then, select the object that you want to shear and the Shear origin. Likewise, you can use a surface We'll do the same operation and you can use a solid.
In this video, we demonstrate the Cover From Points tool. Cover From Points creates a surface from a collection of points representing the boundary of a surface. This will create a planar or non-planar surface depending on your point locations. The Cover From Points tool is an option that can be used to help fill or repair gaps in surface models. Let's demonstrate by filling the hole in our diamond gem model. But first, let's use Copilot to examine the topology, which confirms it's a single surface consisting of 72 faces and 8 open edges. We will fill those open edges with the Cover From Points tool. To begin, pick the Surface Modeling Tool Palette and select the Cover. Then select the Cover From Points sub-option. View the model where you can pick the 8 vertices. Now select each vertex and end with a right click. Next, let's join our cover surface with the rest of the model to confirm there are no more leaks. We'll use the Join Surface tool from the Surface Utilities and pick the two surfaces. Note the response indicates that the, this now forms a watertight solid. And lastly, let's confirm with Copilot the repair with the cover from point surface and joining created a valid part with a volume. And we can see that this part now has no open edges and correctly provides a volume. Hi everybody, in this new feature presentation for PunchCAD 15, we're looking at a couple small uh, feature improvements related to the Symbol Manager. With version 15, we now can right click inside the top of the Symbol Manager and get a list of options uh, for displaying our symbols uh, in the lower preview area. For example, you can now uh, increase the size of the symbol to a large preview, and this really helps you uh, get a better idea of, of the smaller details in some of these uh, symbols. Or let's go to a medium size preview, and then back to the version 14 small previews. Uh, something else that we've done that helps us view large amounts of data that are similar as we do in uh, these nuts is the ability to now display the name right underneath the preview. And this helps us get an, get an easier uh, idea exactly what the symbol we may be dragging and dropping into our design. Thank you. The Verify Clearance tool examines two selected parts to determine if they overlap or provide a minimum distance between the parts. To use the Verify Clearance, select two solid parts and select the Verify Clearance item. This will return the distance of the clearance and also a location of the clearance. And in addition, a line is created between the two minimum distance points. To see it, let's hide our handle and just look at the screw and the line that was created. We'll zoom up and you can see this line is a, a point on each of the faces between the parts. Another use of the Verify Clearance tool is to determine if a part is overlapping another part or it shares the same space. Let's go ahead and move our uh, part down and now do a verify clearance. And this time we see that it finds an interference uh, and it shows us the volume of interference. Copilot is an AI assistant specifically designed for the PunchCAD family of products that include ViaCAD, TurboCAD Mac, and SharkCAD. Copilot builds on a powerful large language model that is further trained with proprietary resources such as user guides, frequently asked questions, blogs, supplemental materials, and in some cases even your CAD data. Copilot is available in two tiers. Copilot Help provides expert on-demand answers to your questions about PunchCAD usage and tools, quickly improving your productivity with the software. Copilot goes beyond traditional keyword search into user guides 
by extracting and summarizing relevant content, videos, and links to further resources. Whether you're a new or advanced user, Copilot Help ensures you stay productive and informed regarding the product. The second configuration, Copilot Professional, takes the capabilities of Copilot Help even further, offering advanced tools tailored for professional use. Copilot can analyze your CAD files in detail, identifying potential design inconsistencies, examine suitability for 3D printing, calculate mass properties or other geometric properties, and present the results in custom formats. And for those of you working on high quality renderings, Copilot Professional offers customizable text to image generation. This lets you create realistic textures, backgrounds that further elevate your visualizations. Whether you're analyzing CAD data, troubleshooting complex designs, or creating stunning visualizations, Copilot Professional is here to empower your creativity and help you achieve design excellence. Thanks for watching.